The early morning rush for second-hand clothes at the Cantamanto market in Accra. Rosina Ejay has been in this trade for about 30 years. She's worried that the quality of clothes she imports has dropped recently. Look at this shirt. It's dirty and worn out. Who will buy this? About 15 million pieces of second-hand clothing arrive in Ghana every week, according to the American Charity Organization, or Foundation. Most of it comes from Europe, the U.S., and U.K. I do not make any profit these days. The clothes shipped to me are full of trash, so people don't want them. Environmentalists say more than 40% of the imported used clothing ends up along Ghana's beaches or in its landfills. This is impacting heavily, heavily and negatively on our infrastructure. The only infrastructure we have to manage municipal solid waste is landfilling. And this textile waste has the tendency to choke our landfills to the extent that it reduces the lifespan of the landfills. In 2011, the government tried to enforce a ban on second-hand clothing, but it backed down after a pushback from traders. The trade in hand-me-downs provide jobs for hundreds of people here. The risk of pushing them out of work is one of the reasons the government says it's difficult to ban the import of second-hand clothing. So this charity organization or foundation, with the help of fashion designers, is training young girls to turn the waste clothing coming from Cantamanto into new garments and accessories such as bags. They also want an environmental blueprint for more accountability from European fashion brands for the waste shipped into Ghana. If you're a brand that you're making clothes and those clothes are ended up in Cantamanto, Cantamanto is managing those clothes as waste or as garments that is coming this way. So how is it that you know there is a policy that takes taxes or takes money from these brands, but then the money does not follow the, the waste that comes into our country? So all we are pushing for is that if you're going to make your waste someone else's responsibility, then you have to pay for it. Rosina AJ agrees. But it could take some years before the policy is adopted. So she wants the quality of clothes shipped into the country to get better in order to make her business thrive. Nabil Ahmed Rufai, CGTN, Accra, Ghana.